Well, we already have plenty of scholars here at Channel 6 and the IndieChannel.com. Now we have a dean, though, somebody that can run this joint. You're gonna, are you going to run it for us? No, probably not. I don't know. I'm a grunt. I'm a grunt. I'm a grunt. I'm, I'm a lower grunt than you are. So, oh uh, yeah. I'm just happy to be aboard. Great to have the legendary Colts beat writer uh, Mike Chappell joining us here on the 80channel.com. He's occasionally going to be on RTV6 as well. So great to have you on board. This is going to be fun, I think. Yeah, I've told people, including my wife. I'm a creature of habit. I hate change. And this is about the biggest change you can come up with yeah, right? after 30 years at the Star, which I enjoyed most of the years. Uh, this is a major change, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you guys are doing great things, and I hopefully I can just kind of add to that. Well, uh, media in general has changed in the last five years, let alone 30 years, you know? Yeah, it's, it's funny. The, the newspaper business is kind of going more digital now. They're sort of, sure. they, they've maxed out the print part of it and now they're going digital online and you guys are sort of you've maxed out what you can do on the air to some point now you're trying to increase the digital traffic so it's kind of different direction so I'm looking forward to doing what I can to help yeah. you guys do what you want to do well here's the thing we've all read your work for the last 30 years of the star the same sort of thing will be happening now on the IndieChannel.com. yeah I told people it nothing's changed and I'll be at the Colts complex like I always have been doing stories like they always have been it'll just be for someone different so the big thing is we've I've talked before is how many people are doing things they hate they get up at eight o'clock in the morning <laughs> and they just hate it and they come home at night and they right. bitch at the wife I love doing what I do I've, I've loved it since uh, college when yeah. I was doing it at Ball State so I love it I they're, they're paying me now you're paying me to do this so I think it's outstanding. It, it does beat working for a living, doesn't it? It does they, they pay <laughs> us to go to football games I know right they pay us to walk in the locker room and see naked guys so, <laughs> that probably didn't come. My, wait a minute. That, that probably didn't I, come out right. That wasn't one of my positives. <laughs> but anyway, go on. But you know, it, it is a great job. So. It, I, I enjoy it again. Yeah. When, when you can do a job that you like, that you're good at, I just think it's yeah. it's it's win win. Big story, obviously, yesterday, the fact that Robert Mathis is a uh, torn Achilles, likely out for the season. That is a big, big, I know the whole mantra is next man up. Still, that, that's a big hole there. Tony Dunjoy used to talk, we'd say, what about the depth at this position? He said, we've always got depth. Yeah, but that guy's not the same as what you lost. <laughs> right. This was going to be a difficult pass rush team with Robert Mathis because he was a one-man gang last year. I don't know how they're going to do it. Uh, Bjorn Werner. Eric Walden, Cam Johnson, who's got a triceps injury, maybe uh, Josh McNary, but it's got to be a collective effort. But we didn't see a lot in the Denver game, which yeah. Peyton Manning's hard to rush anyway. But if they can't get a pass rush without doing tricky stuff, it's going to be a tough season because they, they've got a good secondary. But if you haven't got yeah. a pass rush, you're asking too much from the secondary. What did you make of that, that game Sunday night? I mean, can this team feed off what they saw, what happened in the second half? You think? As long as you get rid of what you did in the first half. Right. You can't, you know, for all the great comebacks they've had, sometimes it's because they put themselves in bad situations. So, they, and again, Denver, by all accounts, is, is the best team in the AFC. Yeah. Maybe the, you know, the second best team in the league. So you can feed off of that, but you just can't make a living off of great comebacks. It just, it forces you to do everything perfect. Right. Perfect. You know, there's, there's a fumble, you don't get it. You get the onside kick, but the things, everything has to happen. So hopefully they can not fall behind 24 to 24 to nothing. 24 to nothing. Yeah. So it's great to take and come back, but that's not a way to make a living. Uh, lastly, uh, obviously a big game then Monday. But here's a team that could easily go down 0-2. Uh, the Phillies no slouch. Right. That Chip Kelly offense is going to be humming Monday night. And Colts Nation will be in panic mode if they go down 0-2. <laughs> yeah, right. Even though these are two tough teams, and then you can then then the schedule sort of softens a little bit with Tennessee, Jacksonville. Although those teams played well last week. And, I just, I want to, I, I, I'm not a true believer in Chip Kelly in that offense yet because what they were behind 17 to nothing mm -hmm. against Jacksonville at home. But I, I think this is a game that Colts are going to come out solid offensively, defensively, we'll see. But this is a game they need to get out just so you're not in that 0 2 hold because then, again, it eliminates a lot of margin of error right. later in the season. The Dean is here, the IndieChannel.com and RTV6 as well. We look forward to seeing. Great to have Mike Chapel on board here at Channel 6. <laughs> One thing's for sure, we got a lot smarter here at the station. Then you guys must have really been dumb. I mean, really? Well, me, maybe. I don't know. <laughs>